Texas A&M. Uh, again, I've said this multiple times. I got the saying from you. Texas A&M put Auburn in a locker. Yeah, Period. they did. Uh, Auburn drove inside the A&M 40-yard line twice. They only got one field goal out of that. You just look at the game overall and whew, uh, held Auburn to 226 total yards. Uh, A&M outgained them 409 to 226. They outrushed them 217 to 73. Isaiah Spiller, 21 carries, 112 yards. Zach Calzada, like this is the first game for both of these teams where they have actually played against a good defense in quite some time. That's right. And, and both of them struggled. And both of them really, really struggled. Uh, Bo Nix, 20 out of 41, 153 yards passing and one interception. Tank Bigsby, 15 carries, 69 yards. Auburn could do nothing. So this game, this game, we want to go fast. So let me tell you what I think about this game. This game is exactly what I thought A&M had to do to win this game, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Against LSU, against Arkansas, and against Ole Miss, Bo Nix did one thing. Bo Nix ran for 200 yards left and right. Yes. All right, to get guys open and to make plays down the field. And he did it all day long against LSU, Ole Miss, and Arkansas. He couldn't do that against AM. AM put him in a bottle. AM tackled him. He finished rushing yards for negative 18 because they kept all of the times that he was able to get away from those other three defenses. He couldn't get away from Texas AM. And I've said it ever since the LSU game. If you can tackle him and stop him from doing that, then he can't beat you. If he just sits in the pocket and tries to throw dimes and throw lasers, he can't do that. But when he gets to making shit up, he's really hard to stop. Yes. A&M didn't allow him to do that. They couldn't get first downs. They couldn't get into – you talked about how few times they even got into the red zone. They finished with three points. Well, I mean, they, they, they couldn't – I don't even think they got in the red zone, did they? No, that's what I'm saying. They couldn't they, even – They get, got inside the 40. They couldn't even get to the red zone, and that's what I was saying. They, they, they just they made everything really difficult on him. He's a dynamic player if you cannot tackle him behind the line of scrimmage. But if you can, it's they're, they're tough to beat. And then by doing that, you also bottle up Tank. Tank still got almost 70 yards. That guy is a monster, but he doesn't have the breakaway speed to gas you for 30 yards and a touchdown. He's not scoring from the 40. OK, yeah, it, it just makes everything hard. I'll tell you this. A&M scored. They better be damn lucky they scored on a couple of defensive plays because they weren't getting much either. Auburn's they, uh, defense played unbelievable in this game. That's the only reason this game got out of hand was because A&M's defense put points on the board. They, uh, they did get in the red zone on both of those attempts. They got to the 15 and they got to the 16. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, just... That's it's nuts, and and yet I still think Auburn is going to beat Alabama at the end of the season, uh, because crazy shit happens in in Jordan Hare. Uh, Modest Cowboy jumped in, enjoying the high quality college football talk this morning. No narrative building, just shooting the shit. Very much enjoy it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and any at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything dot com or Chris at winningcureseverything dot com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.